is the last day of the filing of certificates of candidacy, Wednesday, October 17. Presidential political advisor and former MMDA chairman Francis Tolentino files his candidacy for senator. He has also filed a motion to suspend proceedings of his electoral protest against Senator Laila de Lima. Kahit nag-file ako ng motion to suspend proceedings, hindi pa rin namin tinatanggap yung pagkapanalo ni de Lima bilang number 12. So itong ginagawa ko ngayon pagpa-file ngayon para ang taong bayan na mag ng election protest ko kasi ang tagal doon sa Senate Electoral Tribunal. Veteran news anchor and reporter Jiggy Manikad also formalizes his bid for a Senate seat. He is running as an independent candidate but is endorsed by the regional party of Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte. Hugpong ng pagbabago. Manikad says if he wins, he would push for a buffer fund to address fuel issues, concerns of overseas Filipino workers, and for disaster resilience and improvement improved agricultural production. Incumbent Senator Sonny Angara seeks re-election too. Angara says this time around, he will prioritize education and the universal health care. Yung implementation siguro ng free college, tapos yung universal health care na magiging patas na, syempre gusto natin kompleto yung pag-provide ng servisyo doon. Former presidential spokesperson Harry Roque returns to Comelec and decides he will run for senator instead. He says he wants to uphold the advocacies of the late Senator Miriam Santiago. Yung mga kurap, yung mga bobo, yung mga tiwali sa gobyerno, mumunto na po kayo ni Miriam de Vincent Santiago. Bong Revilla also files his candidacy through his wife, Lani Mercado. Revilla is still detained for his involvement in the pork barrel scandal with Janet Napoles. Follow Rappler for updates.